Hello Libras. This is your mid-month. This is for June 15th through the 30th. As I'm shuffling, I'm seeing the two of pentacles flipping over. Um, this is for Libra. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs, guys. Hope everybody is doing well. I see that you have a lot on your plate that you're trying to balance, trying to figure out here. Okay. Let's see. We're going to do a Celtic cross for you guys. Ooh, a lot of cards trying to flip here. What's going on around Libra currently? Page of Wands. I feel like you guys are actively trying to figure something out. Um, this could also be a younger fire sign, I feel like, um, that is significant to you guys. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, um, a child even. Something maybe you're trying to figure out in regards to a child. Um, but this energy is, is active energy. This is an energy of wanting to... Um, being interested in something, um, having an idea, and wanting to put some action behind it is what this Page of Wands energy is um, is coming with here. Let's see what's crossing you guys. The Ten of Wands. Hmm. This is you feeling like you're carrying all of the burden. Um, and this could be you having, feeling like you are the one that has more interest in doing something than someone else. There's a Sagittarian energy here. Um, or you guys are responsible or the only person, you may be a single, single parent and you may be the one that's, you know, solely responsible for a child here. And it's really weighing on you currently, okay? Maybe you feel like there's a child that needs to take some responsibility. Could be an older child even here, okay? Let's see what the underlying issue is here. Mm. The lover's energy. So what this is telling me for um, a lot of you is that this is all about feeling like you guys have more at stake than someone else. Um, maybe you guys feel like you need to choose between being in this relationship and not at this point. This is Gemini energy. You guys are in two minds. You're not really sure what to do about this connection. Okay. Something's going on. You're feeling like, you know, somebody else needs to step up to the plate here. Hmm. And you're waiting on it. It's like you, you you feel like you're giving this person a chance to to show you what they're made of here, what they've got. Let's see. And the recent cast. Okay, look at this. The King of Swords energy. Hmm. You guys have really been watching and observing, and basically, like I said, the kings they take control. You are the one that has been, you feel, carrying this relationship, guiding it. You are feeling like, if you are a feminine energy, if you're a female, you feel like, you know, you are the one that's acting more masculine in this situation. And this person needs to step up to the plate here. Bottom line. But... This this energy is also coming across with the King of Swords energy. Um, a lot of times people don't really think that this king is emotional or they don't show a lot of emotion. They come across as aloof. This could also be this individual that's coming across to you like they can give a shit. Okay? Hmm. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, again, could definitely be a Gemini, Aquarius, another Libra like yourself that you're dealing with here. Um, again, Sagittarius is here as well. Let's see what your crowning thoughts are. Libra's crowning thoughts. The Ace of Pentacles. I feel like you guys are waiting for this person to really offer something substantial to you. 
or either this is you guys wanting to start over with somebody that can offer something substantial, stable to you, okay? That is what you are thinking about. No back and forth, no wishy-washy, no, you know, because Sagittarius, that energy is like moving constantly, you know, changing. Maybe you feel like this person um, is going back and forth, is flaky, being flaky with you guys here. That's Earth energy there. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What's coming in for my Libras? Oh, wow. The Tower moment. As I was shuffling, pre-shuffling, I kept seeing the Tower. Kept seeing the Tower. But I didn't want to speak it. I was going to see if it came up, and here it is. Um, something very shocking. Something very jolting is coming in for you guys. This is Scorpio energy. This could be a breakup on the horizon um, for some of you. Something that you least expect. Could also be some news um, that you guys least expect here. But with the Ten of Wands here, you know, tens are endings. So I'm feeling strongly there is something that you feel like it's not working. And um, there, there's going to be an abrupt shakeup. Okay. Let's see how you're viewing this situation currently. The Knight of Cups. Huh. I feel like you guys are ready to explore other options emotionally. I feel like you are you are wanting to be involved in something that is less uniform, less um, boring. Okay, I feel like you want excitement. You want someone to be excited about you. But you're not looking at this situation. You're looking out of it. Um, so I'm feeling like you guys, some of, a lot of you guys are wanting to get out. Okay? Because you're feeling like you, you are the one that is carrying this relationship. Almost feeling like you're in a relationship by yourself here. What is the influence for my Libras? The Six of Cups. Hmm. There's something about this person, though. There's something about this person that makes you comfortable. And you do share good times with them. You have shared good times with them. You may even have children with this person or just feel like this person is almost like family for you. There's something other than love between the two of you. I feel like this is a soulmate connection, but soulmates, you know, they're they're here to teach us something. So this may not be a connection that is easy breezy for you. But there's something that keeps you drawn in here. I feel strong Scorpio energy here for a lot of you. And Aquarius Gemini energy. Hmm. Let's see. <clears throat> Hopes or fears for my Libras. The Knight of Swords. Hmm. There's something that you are hoping to to learn. There's something that you want to voice. You really want to tell this person how you feel. There's something I feel like you, you are determined to do. And I think this is about finding the truth, speaking the truth. There may be a situation also here where you feel like this person, you're carrying all of this by yourself because this person may have somebody else that is involved in this situation. That they may be flirting with other people or is trying to date other people. That this person may have another situation, another um 
like family dynamic with someone, maybe an ex-wife, an ex-husband, um, but there's something that's making you very uneasy and I'm feeling like you're at a point where you just are about to explode and you're about to tell this person exactly how you feel and not in a nice way because I'm getting I'm getting this feeling that you're at your wits end basically you've been holding things back but I'm also getting too that you know you don't want to explode so um it's like you want you want this fixed you don't want to have to explode on somebody you don't want to have to get angry to get results but your fear is that it's coming to that. Okay. Let's see what the overall is. The outcome is for my Libras here. The Ten of Cups. Emotional fulfillment. But you know what? Mm. You know... There's something going on with you guys, or either this is the end of your the end of your relationship. Now we have two tens and this tower here. It's like you are full of something. You are wanting something to be done. The end of something. Hmm. Maybe some of you guys are expecting this person to like propose or something here. To choose you as the one and propose because um with this page of wands this is a very um lighthearted energy here. And it's like this idea has popped in your head. And it's really, really weighing on you with this Ten of Wands energy for some of you. And guess what? For some of you, I feel like this tower is probably shocking news. Okay? Maybe this person really does want to marry you. Hmm. And maybe you guys are actually celebrating. Because this is your soulmate. And you want to tell the world here with this Knight of Swords energy. About your happy ending. Hmm. But that's, that's not going to play out like that for all of you. Again, for some of you, this is actually the ending of your relationship. You guys are fed up. Um, and you want something more stable and grounded and this person is not giving it to you so you are at a point where you need to make a choice there's a choice to be made do I stay in this or do I get out of it I love this person but I want to be happy I want to be emotionally fulfilled we do have good times. We've shared good times together with this Six of Cups energy. There's something about this person. Now, you may get to a point where you have to really, you know, lay down the law here with this Knight of Swords energy. And then the outcome is definitely the Ten of Cups where, you know what, you get everything that you want. That happy home, that happy family. So it could play out several different ways for different ones of you. Okay, so we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces, Aquarius, Scorpio is strong here, Sagittarius, um, Gemini, I feel, uh, and Aquarius energy. All right, guys, so that's what I have for you, and I'll be speaking with you soon. Bye now.